did you really do a show if you don't make a vlog about it? So, this is attempt two. Took me forever to post my last show video because every time I watched it, I felt like I was really annoying. So I should probably just try not to talk on this one. It's October 5th and two days before the show I'm going into Walmart and I'm taking back my fake gym ring because they're too big and I'm wearing my heels because I have not practiced walking in them. I've been in here way too long trying to guess what color is going to match the tan. This is what I'm picking. Probably going to have to bring it back because it's probably not going to match. Got this. Finally gave in after like a year and I'm buying a new brow kit. And then some fake nails too. Last time I didn't get the tan done at the show, but I got my makeup professionally done. This time I'm getting the tan at the show and doing my own makeup and I'm probably going to end up wishing I paid for it to get the makeup done again because clearly looking at my face I don't know how to do makeup at all and I'm probably going to look like ass and wish I just paid for it. Just like last time I wish I just paid for the tan. So I'm already preparing for anything that can go wrong because after last time I learned that that's what happens and I'm wearing my shoes in here and everybody is staring at me and guess what I don't care it kind of hurts how true this is eating your feelings is definitely a real thing yeah, coffee's probably going to solve my problem tomorrow when it's all I drink, because hopefully I'm going to lose some of this pregnant bloat, because I look disgusting. The moon's pretty sweet. I just got off work, didn't wear any makeup or deodorant, and I also had about four pieces of broccoli there and probably five or six cups of coffee, so I'm really shaky and like amped up, better mood than I was in last night, and I'm about to strip it down and somebody's about to get to see this naked for my tan. So I got sprayed, they saw me naked, a lot of fake boobs in there, could not pay me to do that ever. I. I don't really know why people want that. I kind of think it looks disgusting and I probably, probably shouldn't say that, but gross. Um, yeah, then I got to wait in line for like 40 minutes for the stupid check-in, so that kind of sucked. And so here's me right now. I let them spray my face. It doesn't look that dark and my stomach does not look that good. So I probably shouldn't eat any more today. Besides the broccoli and the coffee, and uh, hopefully I don't stink up my new car with this tan. They gave me a bag with a shirt, so it's cooler than the shirt from my last show. And it's got some other shit in there. Cool. So now I'm gonna drive home. It's like half hour from here and really need to just go to bed because I'm hungry and I said this in the last video a lot of times and I know it was really annoying but I hate being hungry <laughs> and it sucks but you know what I didn't go on a diet oops not really though because I love food and I ate Oreos and ice cream and cake and whatever the fuck I wanted all the time so you know what I can't complain because if I do bad tomorrow whatever you know it's fun to get up there and get dressed up and do this but I like food so I wasn't gonna put myself through that again and I still have abs so it's all good I don't want to like touch anything like my arms on my seats and like am I supposed to touch my steering wheel with this shit on I don't like being in my car like this it feels wrong 
Oh, I can't. Do I wear a seatbelt? Like, is that gonna ruin the tan? The socks, I probably should have asked someone else. Why did I just stutter? That was weird. Um, Yeah, I probably should have maybe brought like sheets or blankets to just cover the whole interior of this car. At least it's black, but it might smell and I don't wanna get shit on here. Not cool. I don't know if I should wear a seatbelt or not. It's nice bottoms up. Up, up. Get them up. Drop this class. Is it speech? Yeah. I want to drop my speech class too. I still hope that Cleveland loses the series. Oh. Everybody, everybody, everybody's talking Cleveland. Everybody's forgotten about my Astros. The international war. <laughs> yeah. Like, hey guys, it's all about him. Yeah. Cleveland loses the series. Yeah. Everybody's talking about the Astros. Yeah. Astros, Cleveland. Look at those Cleveland. Never no, won a damn World Series before. I mean, what? She said, she said, she said, I, uh, I do look, look kind of tan now. But don't, don't yeah, 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 you so. do. Really? I look yeah, pale. I don't know why. You know, but, I mean, I next to Kayla, we all do. You don't technically need to know that it's a credit to do any and like, yeah. No, I was getting her a new phone. Way overpriced cheese cake. I'm sure. She's four. Four dollars. Four dollars. Four dollars. Oh, she's getting the eight. She's getting the eight. Look. Yeah, actually. Please don't cut my real hair. I literally got a check from Alyssa's sorority. Wait, wait, wait. Olivia's sorority. That's because Olivia got it. Give you what? I'm so sad Olivia's not here. Shakes got it. Ew. I, I look Olivia. really gross. Sure, sure, <laughs> no, you don't. Oh, yeah, oh, I do. I have no makeup on. My face is shiny. Oh, this Look how greasy my, my hair is. Look how greasy my face is. It's like shiny. I have blotty pads. They told me to use a baby wipe on it tomorrow. Before I put makeup on. She's living in a baby wipe? Yeah, just to take like a layer off. That's an L. They have like holes. Like one hole is fine. Catch me at See, I like it when you, when I first cut well, so straight across right. first, and then we can. All right, don't go too short. I'm not. I literally have like an inch. Dude, I don't know. I'm gonna freak out like when I like, hey, like, like, go again. Like, I wish I could see that yeah. Yeah. Do it again. Classical. Classical. Oh my dear. Classical. I was about to do the same thing. Are they not all day off? Thanks for letting us turn the kitchen into a hair salon. I know, right? right do you see how good I am at sweeping up the hair? It's my new thing. I like to sweep. I would be a good hairdresser, wouldn't I? Uh, you want to come to Knoxville and stay with us and sweep? <laughs> Thanks for cutting my hair. You're welcome. <laughs> Resisting all of that. It's going to go off any second now. Still up. 429 in the morning. <laughs> No sleep. Wow, I look like orange. But I'm not in person. It's On this. It's the lighting. There it goes. <laughs> 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 oh, time to get this hair and makeup going. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you weren't expecting that, were you? <laughs> Did you get my reaction? <laughs> <laughs> so Alyssa and I pulled an all-nighter and I'm really tired right now I was listening to stuff like this on the car ride trying to wake myself up so yeah I need to start getting excited and I brought some chocolate to eat and 
I'm wearing a Michigan State sweatshirt because they play U of M today. They're probably gonna lose, but oh well. I'm excited to go in there and it's gonna be a long day, but it's gonna be fun. did my own makeup. I think it looks okay, but I think it will be fine from a distance and I like how the hair is looking. So yeah, it's all coming together. It's almost time for the pre-judging and I'm feeling pretty good about how I look for not going on a diet. I definitely looked better at my last show, but for not really trying that hard, I guess I can't complain. So I'm just really proud of myself for getting out of my comfort zone again and trying this. It took so long waiting and I had to try as hard as I could not to fall asleep. I ended up eating like a whole bag of cookies before I went on the stage because I just didn't really care anymore and I was hungry. And I think it went well. I was definitely more confident than the last show and just went up there and had fun and rocked it I guess. But. I don't know, I'm just hoping I don't get last. Second to last is fine, but I mean, even if I do get last, it was fun to just come out and do it again. And it kind of just gives me something to work towards when I work out, even though I don't know if I would do this again. But I'm uh, gonna go sleep in my car because I'm really tired. And I haven't decided if I'm going to put the seat down or if I'm going to just try and curl up in the back seat. But also, it's like 80 degrees out, so I might have to roll the windows down. <sighs> yeah, I'm seriously about to just set an alarm and pass the F out. If I could figure out how to put this seat back. Oh, that's ridiculous. It doesn't go back that far. Well, I might have to go crawl in the back then. Because this is not going to work. I fell asleep in the back seat for two hours, but I got really sweaty because it's 82 degrees outside. And I had the windows cracked and this car is all black. So my hair is ruined, it's like gross and has the tan in it. My face is disgusting, <laughs> has like sweat, nasty crap from the makeup. And then my stomach is like really blotchy from me laying with my arms on it in the back seat. So now I'm just sitting here with the air on really wishing that I was just asleep without this bullshit on. This is my first day off of work in over six weeks and I really kind of just am tired and not feeling this anymore at this point in the day and the night show starts, it's two, it starts in three hours and I'm just kind of done, <laughs> really done already. <laughs> I'm tired and this tan is gross <laughs> and I just want some water. I didn't drink water yesterday or today, just the coffee yesterday and I'm probably going to go in there and be in the air conditioning and just sleep in one of the hotel chairs at this point. I came inside the hotel and got some water. It's not fair to do that to my brain my body. I'm hot, I'm tired, and I'm just kind of not feeling the best. So I'm going to just chill in here. And this hotel is really nice. So that's cool.
But yeah, I'm just gonna camp out on this chair. I got my camera out. Say hi. <laughs> Gosh, I can't wait to come back to Michigan. Yeah, I'm excited. Why are you hiding your face? What? You're hiding your face. My grandma came to watch. Hey, how are you? Good, how are you? Yeah, you're gonna be in my video. <laughs> what do you think about... I've never been to anything like this before. My uh, thing, I was sleeping in my car. Because there were like so many hours and I didn't have anything to do and I'm really tired. Alyssa and I stayed up all night. Hi. We were just talking on the bed. So you need to go in the bathroom and kind of blend it in. <laughs> It's 11.30, I just got home and I cannot wait to take this off and shower, take these out. This shit's heavy, like you wouldn't think, but it's actually kind of hurting my head and kind of needs to come out, but I'm really happy with how things turned out and that I ended up Placing. That's definitely more than I could have asked for considering I didn't diet and didn't do as much cardio as I told myself I would. But I'm really happy with how it turned out. I'm happy with how I looked and how I felt on the stage. Way more confident this time. And it's just a really positive thing. I'm glad that I've been able to find fitness and have it in my life. I enjoy spending a lot of time at the gym. I don't enjoy the creeps at the gym. They need to stop. I'm not interested and will keep saying that over and over. The high schoolers, the married guys, anybody, the creeps. I don't care even if you're not a creep. I'm not interested. When I go to the gym, don't look at me. Don't talk to me. I'm there to work out. That's time for me. I look like this for me and for me only. And it's frustrating when people are like that, but yeah, it was fun tonight to go to the show and kind of celebrate. It's kind of around like a year since I've got into fitness. 372 days ago, I stopped drinking and I wanted to try and turn my life in a better direction. So I started going for walks and then I started working out and now I'm here and I never would have thought a year ago if you told me I'd be doing this but I did and I'm proud of myself and it actually was a lot of fun and I'm glad that my grandma was able to be there with me and watch that be a part of it it was kind of fun we, we were sampling some pre-workout BCAs and she didn't know what that was and I'm just thinking like I didn't really know what that was either like this has all been new stuff for me learning about working out fitness bodybuilding so in this past year, I've really learned, grown as a person, and even in the past six months since my last show, I actually weighed about 10 pounds more this show because I've put a lot of muscle on in my legs and my upper body and my back. 
and the lats, that can go. I'm not a fan of those, but yeah, it's just, I'm excited to see where this journey goes and keep working on myself and enjoying fitness and yeah, so I'm probably going to go downstairs and eat something and take this stuff off and yeah, this was my first day off work in six weeks, which wasn't really a day off because I was just going all day, but I'm back working again tomorrow and then I will be back in the gym.